So let's go over the wire diagram of the Dynaco Mark III. Um, the, as you can see right here, 117 volts AC goes through the wire. The switch, once, it, once it's closed, completes the circuits. The AC, 117 volts AC goes through 3 amp fuse, and it goes through the power transformer. The power transformer then outputs uh, 490 volts AC down the red wires. The 490 volt AC goes to the rectifying tube. The rectifier, rectifying tube, uh, uh, again, pin 4 and pin 6, as we know, that's the plates. The plates then rectifies it to the cathode. The cathode right here. Uh, outputs uh, 490 volts DC and as you can see this 490 volts DC first it goes to the uh, CAN capacitor um, let's go look at a picture real quick as you can see this is a CAN capacitor the CAN capacitor has uh, four different capacitance 300 microfarads 200 I mean 30 microfarads 20 microfarads 20 microfarads and another 20 microfarads the can is rated at 525 volts, which again it's under underrated, needs to be increased. And this can, the outside shield of this can is basically its ground. So the whole chassis of the Dynaco Mark III is ground. So the can is grounded to the chassis. So it goes in to uh, the 30 microfarad right here, and again. This fails all the time. Most likely it's either shorted or it's no capacitance is on uh, this section of the capacitor. Then following the orange wire, it goes through a choke and it comes back out of the choke and goes into the second capacitor. So let's go back to the uh, output trans I mean the power transformer. Again, we covered the red wire. Now let's look at the uh, red and black wire. So the red and black wire, this is uh, pretty much close to center tap. And this red and black wire goes all the way to the diode, the positive side of the diode. And then the negative side of the diode goes to this 50 microfarad uh, capacitor, which the positive side of the capacitor is then tied to ground, which goes, now let's talk about the yellow and red wire. The yellow and red wire is the center tap of the power uh, transformer. And as you can see, it goes down here and then it goes, and then it basically pin two right here shorts to the chassis. You can't really see it in this graph right here, but maybe you can see it uh, at uh, in this uh, graphic right here as you can see this pin right here it's tied to this uh, washer down here basically it, it shorts this pin to the chassis ground so um, yellow and red wire is actually ground which then you can actually see this same wire continues on to the output audio output transformer the uh, a431 transformer which then goes to the black wire down here but um, let's look at uh, the other side of the uh, uh, power transformer um, the yellow I mean the, the yellow wire right here uh, is the 5 volts AC it goes and heats up the heater filaments for the rectifier right here and then the green wire also goes is the uh, heater uh, is the 6.3 volts that heats up the uh, heater filament for the KT88s the power tubes right here and it continues on well it goes into this side of the tube then it gets wrapped around to the other side of the tube. Then if you look at the, I, I on purposely colored it differently so you can see it go all the way down uh, the path. 
that then continues on to the red wire right here and the slightly darker green wire right here which then goes all the way down to pin 8 and 9 which heats up the 6, 8 and 8 uh, uh, tube and then it keeps on going uh, to this uh, uh, octo socket, this power socket for the preamp. Now if you don't have a preamp that connects to this socket which a lot of us don't really use that anymore you can pretty much re remove these two extra wires right here um, but uh, uh, let's see okay let's talk about the blue wire the blue wire right, right here is where we set the bias the 1.56 volts DC bias when you adjust the pot right here as you can see the blue wire goes all the way down here connects to the 11 ohm 1 watt uh, precision power resistor and uh, it shorts pin 1 and pin 8 goes over to the other side shorts pin 1 and pin 8 um, let's see so another couple of wires to, to notice that um, the uh, audio transformer you can see the green and the blue comes out here and you can also see the green stripes with white and the blue stripes with white comes out of here they both go to pin 3 and 4 again pin 3 and 4 of the uh, power tubes um, so you have pin 3 and 4 that's the anode and you have pin 1 and 8 that's the cathode and then you have your filament uh, at pin 2 and 7 on both sides, pin 2 and 7 on both sides um, and finally the control grid that's pin 5, I didn't color that but pin 5 on both of them uh, connects to pin 6, now pin 6 is uh, there's no pin on pin 6 so they basically just use have pin 5 connect to the 1k ohm resistor then goes to the board same over here pin 5 goes to the 1k ohm resistor terminates at pin 6 and goes down to uh, the uh, audio board down here and that's pretty much of course you have your bias right here to your pots but again that's pretty much the whole wire diagram uh, of the board uh, later on I'm going to talk about the this uh, the control board right here some of the key things that, that needs to be a, a uh, correct uh, that needs to be updated when when you that I like to update some of the key things that I like to update on uh, the KT88 is um, I like to uh, uh, replace this uh, rectifier with a, a semiconductor diode um, and I'll go over that later the uh, 1k ohm resistor right here once you change that then you need to change this 1k ohm resistor to 4.7k ohms um, of course I change all the caps, I change this cap, I change the 50 microfarads and that 50 microfarads right there and I'll go over more in detail I make sure I measure the 11.2 ohm resistor right here is good. The 600, I mean 6.8k uh, resistor right here, this always goes bad. It just keeps on increasing in resistance, then it blows open, of course. So it's very important to uh, check that resistor right there. And of course, this uh, can capacitor needs to be replaced. Um, Now finally, here's the audio board. So, um, just a couple of notes. I mean, right here, as you can see all the values, you can see all the resistors values, and you can match it up with the schematic. But some couple of things I want to point out is that the capacitor right here, the, the 22 or 25 microfarad capacitor, uh, like I like to get uh, 600 volts rating 
and this capacitor is very important this is this affects the audio quality so you want to get some uh, good quality uh, capacitors um, again there's two of them one for each side of the tubes uh, and you also want to have a good quality 0.1 microfarad capacitor even though the, uh, the original rating is only 400 volts but I too also always increase it to 600 volts um, the 4.7k ohm uh, resistors right here the one watt resistors right here both of them need to be matched which basically means that you need to find them as close value to each other as possible. Uh, another two that should be matched is the 100k ohm uh, resistors right here. It would be nice for them to be matched. Uh, let's see. Oh, and uh, there's a uh, three capacitors on here. There's a 12 picofarad, a 700, 750 picofarad, and a 390 picofarad. Now all of them rate these uh, capacitors at 1k volts, basically 1,000 volts. Um, that might be overkill. I would think 500 to 600 is enough, but uh, no harm done when you get a, a 1k volts. Definitely won't go bad. So that's pretty much all with the wire diagram. Uh, watch the next video, and I'll show you how I desolder and and uh, put everything together.